In this video, we will convert a complex number from Cartesian form to the polar form. So here we have a complex number root 3 minus iota. So any complex number can be expressed as x plus iota y. So here the real part of the complex number is x or we can say that x is equal to root 3 and the imaginary part of the complex number y or we can say that y is equal to minus 1 or we can express this as a point on a plane so the real part is the x component and the imaginary part is the y component now we can plot this point on a complex plane so here is the x component root 3 and the y component minus 1 so this point must be lying in the fourth quadrant of the plane and it is making an angle theta with the x-axis now first of all we will find the modulus of the complex number which is r is equal to x square plus y square so r is equal to square root of square of root 3 plus square of minus 1 now square of root 3 is 3 and square of minus 1 is 1 so we have r is equal to square root of 4 which is equal to 2 now we will find the argument or angle of this complex number so the argument or angle of the complex number is tan inverse of y upon x so theta is equal to tan inverse y is minus 1 and x is root 3 so theta is equal to minus pi by 6 so the angle theta is minus pi by 6 because it is in the fourth quadrant now any complex number x plus iota y can be expressed in polar form as r cos theta plus iota sin theta so we have a complex number root 3 plus iota sorry root 3 minus iota so this will be equal to r which is 2 and cos theta theta is minus pi by 6 plus iota sin minus pi by 6 so this is the polar form of the complex number root 3 minus iota y which is 2 times cos of minus pi by 6 plus iota sin of minus pi by 6